my wonderful people, good day. It's me again, the great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Well, today I'm gonna talk about these two guys, Waldi and Bully. They're from Kingston 11, Catburn Pen, Canary Avenue, Flint's Crescent, Willow Drive. All of those places, Woodpecker Avenue, Broadleaf Road, Mongo Drive. Now, these two guys here, we see right here, while these on the left of your screen, Bully on the right. They are responsible. Just them alone. That bully is responsible for over 70 murders. And while they are about the same. So between both of them, I would say they are responsible for 200 murders. In Kingston 11, Cockburn Pen. And around the area and beyond. It's really, really, really sad. Anybody who's from Cockburn Pen or the Kingston 11 area, especially in these guys' zone where they were born and raised, is affected or was affected by their violence. I personally have family member who's been affected by this violence. And when I say affected, I mean murder. Not murder. With that said, it set off a war that killed Bully Father, I mean Wally Father. Bully family members got killed. Uh, the guys them from Kenya Avenue that side now form alliance with the guys them over in Section 2. We call it Gully. Our Seedside Gardens, that's right behind, the whole thing is still Cockburn Pen. They have White Wing down the street. So, then you have the road, them like Daddy for Mango Drive. I'm telling you, the whole section became one set of man is Waldy, one set of man is Bully. I remember a young man got killed. And, uh, he was killed by a bully. And believe me, he was hanging over by Silver Gardens. Who so on the bully. And his family them couldn't church his body over by Broadleaf Fort. So even when them killed him, you couldn't get your body <laughs> church it's it, 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 well it was really terrible still is uh Bowie is a quiet guy he was in america he left america and he go to england and he made a lot of money you know he was killed by Wally. they said alleged him and his brother Bully died and another man over there by La Rousse. Oh, that's Port Tennyson. That's over there on the back street. You can walk from Marcus Garvey Drive. As a matter of fact, you can walk from Woodpecker Avenue. You come down to Olympic Rear. You cut cross back to Spanish Town Road. And you go all the way down and you make the right onto Marcus Garvey Drive. And Port Henderson is right up there, up the street going towards St. Catherine on the left. That's where Bully died. They said while they killed him, man them dress up like police and kill him and him family. And while he was ended up charged with that crime. 
Fast forward years later, Wally went to court. He beat the crime. He left court and was murdered out there on Mountain View buying fruits. I found it to be very ironic that he was killed while buying fruits. When you have guys like these, while they bully, the Royal Falls, the Bitty, the Wani British, comes into a neighborhood and uh, start controlling the neighborhood because of, you know, poverty. People poor down there. And you know Jamaica is with the classism. You see the young boys, them uptown, cleaning car window, Ugly Park Road, Waltham Park, uh, Ugly Park Road uptown at the stoplights and different parts of the city. And the government does nothing to help them. And that's how they make the money. So, yeah. So when guys like these make their money and come into these garrison neighborhoods, they have the whole neighborhood unlocked. But one thing always happened to them. All of them always dead. Like Wally and Bully. And that tells you something about Jamaica. And the the political system and, 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 and the government and the police. Along with the soldier, the army. Uh, I don't want to stray too much off this topic, but yeah, with these two guys, the war went on for years, and I, it, this, it's still an offspring, there's still stuff going on. I personally know somebody who got killed about four months ago, and everything is stemming off that. So these guys, I would say, are the t one of Jamaica's two most infamous gangsters who's responsible for over 200 murders. And you see where it got them. Straight down in the ground. And remember, when you're dead, you're gone. And when you're dead, you can't come back. Now, there's lots of rumor flying around saying that all these guys were linked with politicians and this and that. But it, it, it is really the same story like in Rockford, like in Tel Aviv. Like, look what's going on now. Yeah, it, it, there's lots of problems going on. And these two guys, even though they're gone, their legacy still lives on. They are two of Jamaica's most notorious gangsters who started a fight over bullshit. Something that can be reasoned out. Did they create jobs for the people? No. Did they help anybody? No. What they do, they use the money and get people to do what they what they want out of fear. I remember one time we we down there and uh on Walton Park, where we decide, say, a friend of mine said, I'm going to go jungle. I guess Willie Agat was over there. And uh, I didn't go because I don't like those kind of company. But they went to get some food. And Willie Agat bought the food, sent the young man to buy the food. And when the guy come back with the food, I guess he didn't like how it tastes. And he just threw the food in the man's face. I think a week later, them kill him. So, I guess the story, there's a couple different stories out of this. If you notice, all the politicians them in Jamaica live until they're old. 
Even the one then who's running the worst uh, areas, like uh, the security minister, he's from Montego Bay. And Montego Bay is one of the worst places. And uh, I guess the guy they call the prime minister, he's he's running Catburn Pen Towahill. Kingston 11 and it's one of the worst places of violence so if, it, I, I, I mean there's tons of studies, everybody says it all the time, you know the politician then this, they're funding this they're involved, they're complacent but uh, there's no fix to it so until we as Jamaicans can hold these politicians really accountable where they can experience the same things or certain things, then it's, it's you know, it's going to be how it is. And then you have the police, them trapped in the middle. So the police, them work with these gangsters too. While they had police guarding them, also did bully, but them still end up dead. You understand? The only people them live forever in Jamaica is the politician then. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted to bring the story of one of Jamaica's, two of Jamaica's most dangerous and cruel murderers. Both of them dead now. Both of them dead and gone. But nothing changed. Remember, this is Countryman. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll keep the fire burning. Peace.